Hello, my name is Brian. In this video, I'm going to share how to know if your account can receive um, or it can't receive, okay? It's a confusion most people get when they don't know, when they can't kind of differentiate uh, if their accounts can receive or not, okay? So in this video, we're going to see. Now I have two accounts, I have this and another account opened on, on Chrome. It looks like this, okay? So one of the two accounts can receive and another one can't receive, okay? So we're going to just look at that. Now in accounts which can receive, first thing you'll notice is they have PayPal balance, all right? Now by default, this one is usually 0, 0.00 US dollars or pounds or whatever the currency you're using but you need to see a PayPal balance in your PayPal. If you don't see a PayPal balance section, it's one of the, it's one of the things that shows that your PayPal account can't receive, okay? So the difference is here there is a, here there is a PayPal balance section. And uh, in another one, we don't have a PayPal balance. We just have this, okay? Uh, when you log in, uh, there's nothing that you see, all right? So there's nothing like people balance. Actually, it just shows the payments which have gone, uh, which have gone through my account, but I don't have the people balance section, okay? So let's go back here. When you look on a menu, we have home uh, activity, pay and get paid. When you come in this, you don't see pay and get paid. I have home, send, warrant, okay? So, so another thing is on your menu, you don't have these two options. You have to be with pay and get paid. If you don't have pay and get paid, at least you need to have like pay and receive or maybe send and receive, okay? They have to be two options. Uh, accounts in different countries have different, uh, may have slightly different uh, menu items for example usa accounts and uk and you know the they usually have maybe like send and receive okay instead of pay and get paid but it's kind of the same thing all right so if you don't have pay and get paid at least it has to maybe say uh send and get paid or maybe send and receive whatever is your case here on your menu they have to show two options that you can send and receive okay now, in account switch country, save, you only have, it's only one way to be showing send. It won't say maybe receive or like get paid, you know? So this is the menu. Now, most people confuse the menu and, uh, you know, when your account, when you're using an app, when you're using a PayPal app, there's usually a section there which says pay and get paid. Now, pay and get paid has to be on the menu, not in the section below. So some apps, like when people say, like when people see like they can uh, get paid, when the future says they can get paid, it doesn't mean you can get paid. You have to confirm it by going to the menu and see you, if you have pay and get paid, okay? It doesn't have to be on the futures. It has to be on the menu. And if you're on the mobile, uh, you have to click on the mobile view. There's that icon with those three dashes, I think, on the on the on the, on the right on the right top. Then the menu will come. Then you cross check if you have pay and get paid or send, right? So that's how you can realize if your account can receive or not. Okay. Now another cool thing is. Before I, I go to that topic, when you look at this, some people are confused, like, can you receive money when you have no bank? Now, this account can receive even if it doesn't have money in it. So receiving money in your PayPal doesn't require you to have a card, actually. In accounts which can receive, you can receive even if you don't have the bank account in your account. The reason why is when someone sends you the money, money first comes in your PayPal balance, 
it doesn't go to your bank directly. It doesn't go to your mobile money directly. It's a confusion people really get. Okay, so uh, you don't have in the accounts. If your account can receive, you don't even need a bank account. Okay, you don't need a bank account to first receive. The money first comes on your PayPal. You can even add a bank later. Okay, now the reason why you have to put a bank, of course, is you need to withdraw the money to the bank. Okay, so for those, for those who were wondering how money comes into your PayPal, yes, money first comes to your PayPal balance before it goes to your bank or mobile money. Uh, for those who withdraw to the banks, if you, you have to click on set uh, details and you link your, your card. When your card is linked, you'll be able to transfer the money onto that card. Okay, if you need support in that, you can give us a call. Now, if you withdrawing money to pay to mobile money, you have to note that uh, the functionality doesn't work uh, automatically. For, at least for Kenya, and even for Kenya, you need to have uh, you need to have uh, M-Pesa, and you need to have a link from M-Pesa for transferring money from PayPal. Okay. So it's, it's something which is not possible in most countries to transfer money from PayPal directly to mobile money. Please understand that. But it's not impossible. But the way to be possible is you use web apps. You use people who you can transact with. Then they send money to your mm -hmm. mobile money. And you send money to their PayPal. Okay. Let me repeat that. If you're going to withdraw money from PayPal to your mobile money, maybe in Tanzania, maybe in Zambia, you usually need to work with a person. You transact with a person. You go on pay. You send your money. This 26, you go to pay. Then you send him this money, 26. Then when I receive the $26, I send you money to your mobile money in Zambia or Tanzania. It's kind of a manual process, OK? Now, if another way is you can use a few, there are platforms which offer PayPal to mobile money. So these are third party um, applications, okay? So it's important to know like PayPal doesn't send money to mobile money directly in most African countries. It's actually possible in Kenya. And if you're in Kenya, of course, you have to use uh, something like PayPal to PayPal to PayPal to M-Pesa, okay? Uh, I think it's one of the only countries where you can do this. I don't know of any other country where you can do uh, PayPal directly to mobile money. So if you're around Kenya, what I, what I can recommend you is you can process a Safaricom line and get M-Pesa. So when you withdraw money from PayPal to M-Pesa, you can transfer them from M-Pesa to your maybe MTN Zambia, maybe MTN Uganda, okay? Uh, let me first click on these chairs. I think they're done. Right. So uh, PayPal to, okay, that was this crazy stuff. Uh, okay, let's refresh this. So just give me, okay, just give me a uh, click on beds. I think these are all beds. Okay, just a minute. If you refuse, just give it up. Okay. So in Kenya, you can withdraw the money from to M-Pesa. Then from M-Pesa, you can withdraw, you can push the money from M-Pesa to MTN. Okay, it's usually possible in Uganda, Rwanda, you know, I think even Zambia. So this is how you can. So you realize PayPal doesn't send to mobile money directly. It does so via um, usually another link, okay? Yeah, for, for other countries, you may have to look for maybe a website which can help you to withdraw from paper to mobile money. Or you can kind of uh, uh, leave a comment and I can advise on someone you can use in your country. Most of the people uh, here in Africa, they are kind of, uh, we are kind of linked up. We are kind of friends, so I can easily advise on a person who can help you in your country. So that's how you can know uh, the pay, the accounts. That's how you can know if your account can receive or not, okay? Thank you, and if you have any query, you can leave it in the comment below. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.